Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and in this video I will explain what kind of diet a kidney patient should take, what food are good for kidney patients and what food should be avoided if you have kidney failure. So let's get started with the video. Every year thousands of patients of kidney failure visit Science Gymni for their kidney disorder and the 50% of the treatment depends on diet and making them understand what to eat, what not to eat is a difficult task. Patient make mistakes in diet and results become unfavorable. So the motive of this video will be to make every kidney patient understand about diet in a such a way that they can easily judge about the food, whether they can eat or not. Fruits which are rich in potassium and naturally contain citric acid or ascorbic acid must be avoided. Fruits high in potassium like banana, kiwi, avocados and citrus fruit like oranges, mosami, mango and grapes should be avoided. The only exception is pineapple. Pineapple is citrus in nature but it's good for kidney patients. Now let's move to the high potassium fruits. As you know your kidney are not working properly and they are unable to filter excess amount of potassium from the body. This condition leads to a high level of potassium which causes muscle fatigues, disturbed heart rhythm and if the level of the potassium rises above 7 it may cause heart attack. Fruits like banana, avocado, kiwi and all kind of dry fruits such as cashew, almonds and nuts should be avoided by the kidney failure patient. Now you can easily judge which food you need to eat and which food you should avoid. Always remember that food items such as dry fruits, nuts, citrus fruit and banana, kiwi, avocado has to be strictly avoided. This day onward by just looking at the food ones you can easily judge which food is healthy for your kidney. Kidney failure patients usually get confused with which vegetables are best for the kidney and which should be avoided. So today I will try my level best to make you understand about the vegetables. Always keep single rule in mind, avoid leafy and rooty vegetables. Vegetables like spinach, cabbage and cauliflower should be out of your daily diet to keep your kidney healthy because they contain high amount of electrolytes like potassium, calcium, phosphorus and iron which are not good for kidney patients. Rooty vegetables like turnip, potato, sweet potatoes, beetroot and other vegetables which are grown below the surface should be avoided. Here only exceptions are carrot, radish and onion which are to be taken by the kidney patients. When we tell patients not to take leafy vegetables and rooty vegetables, often the next question is what we can eat if these vegetables are not allowed. Vegetables which are grown on a plant as a fruit are allowed in cases of kidney failure like okra, tomatoes, bitter grout, bottle grout, cumber, pumpkin. Keep one golden rule in mind, all vegetables in the cooker BTC family are good for kidney. Now you won't face any problem in judging vegetables for your kidney disorder, especially any vegetable which is, comes from cooker BTC family are good for kidneys. If you want to ask any questions regarding your diet, feel free to contact our doctors on the number given below and you can clear your doubts. Kidney failure patients have to limit dairy products in their diet. Only Depolton milk is allowed and that to up to one cup only. Dairy products such as curd, cheese, cottage cheese are not allowed for kidney patients. Kidney failure patients have to limit dairy products in their diet. Only double toned milk is allowed and that too up to one cup. Dairy products such as curd, cheese, cottage cheese are not allowed for kidney patients. Patient often feels problem in selecting cereals with kidney failure. As you all know, main course is the most substantial course of the meal. Out of rice and wheat, all kidney patients should prefer wheat as they contain less amount of starch. Rice are not advised to a kidney patient because rice contains starch in high amount which increases sugar level in diabetic patients. Also 
uncontrolled level of sugar is a, one of the main cause of kidney failure. You may take as much as pati you want. If you are diabetic, rice are strictly not allowed and if you are non-diabetic, only small bowl of rice is allowed with proper destarching. Destarching means you have to soak rice in water overnight so that excess amount of starch can be drained off. It would be best for the kidney failure patient to avoid rice. Breakfast is considered as the most important meal of the day. Cornflakes, oats, dalia, poha can be taken in breakfast. You may take cereals in moderate amount. Make sure they doesn't contain any kind of dry food in them because dry foods contain high amount of potassium and salts. Even small amount of these electrolytes may cause problem in long run. They get accumulated in the body because of non-functioning of your kidney. Salt is considered not good for even for a healthy person. But in case of kidney failure patients, even the small amount can be dangerous. Normal common salt is composed of sodium chloride. Excess accumulation of sodium in the body causes high blood pressure. Retention of fluid in the lower part of the body is also seen. As the body is unable to excrete out excess amount of sodium, it is advised to take salt free diet so that the level of sodium can be controlled. If you feel problem in taking salt free diet, then you can take pinch of salt. But make sure the salt you take should be rock salt. Don't replace it with low sodium salt because the low sodium salt contains potassium chloride which is more dangerous than sodium chloride. If you have retention of water in your lower limbs or suffering from high blood pressure, it is advised not to take any kind of salt because all the food items that we eat contain salt which is quite enough for our daily requirement. Salt free diet will help you to reduce swelling and better management of high blood pressure. All kind of frozen food and preserved foods are not permitted in kidney failure as they contain large amount of preservatives and salts. Excess intake of such chemicals may cause kidney damage. Keep one thing in mind, never consume anything which is not cooked in your kitchen. That means no chocolate, no chips, no burger, no fast food and no junk food. How much amount of water you can take depends on how much kidney filters urine. Suppose your kidney is forming 500 ml of urine, that means you can take 1500 ml of water. As you are losing 500 ml of fluid through urine and another 1000 ml through your respiration and sweating, that means you can take 1500 ml of fluid in a day. Always add 1000 ml of fluid in your 24 hour urine output to calculate your daily fluid limit. If you still have any kind of questions, doubts regarding fluid intake or diet, feel free to contact our doctors on the number given below so they will guide you accordingly. Smoking is a thing which is very injurious to health, especially for a kidney patient. Nicotine present in cigarettes leads to protein loss through urine and also results in high blood pressure. Because of rise in blood pressure, the arteries constricts result in inadequate circulation of blood in kidney, which further leads to kidney failure. Like smoking, drinking also damages your kidney. When a person suffers from kidney failure, intake of alcohol puts kidney in hyperfiltration mode which leads to kidney damage. Any patient who is habitual of smoking and drinking are advised to stop these bad habits before treatment. I hope this video will help all kidney patients to understand what kind of diet they should take. If you feel any kind of problem regarding diet like what amount of fluid to take or anything else feel free to contact our doctors on the number given below you may ask anything regarding kidney failure treatment or kidney failure as they will guide you properly you may visit our website signkidneycare.com at the end of the home page you will find a small form in which you have to provide information regarding patient including name gender and what kind of problem the patient is suffering from whether undergoing dialysis or not you may attach your medical reports like ultrasound dtp renal scan or your kft report our doctors will call you within 24 hours after evaluating with this allow me to say goodbye see you in the next video